and welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Urud dal has always been a part of our cooking because it has immense health benefits associated with it. So today, instead of the regular tiffins like idli and dosa with it, I'm going to show you all an interesting sweet snack recipe. This is Urud dal laddu and it's actually an Andhra delicacy called sunnunda and it's very famous in the Telugu states. So let's get started and check out this healthy snack recipe. I have kept all the ingredients required to make the urud dal laddu here. So I'm starting by adding a tablespoon of ghee to a small pan. Add a few chopped cashew nuts to this. Cashew nuts in this recipe is completely optional. I'm only adding them because I like them personally in all my snacks. Once the cashew nuts are golden brown in color, transfer them to a plate and keep them aside. To another white pan, add a cup of whole urud dal, which is skinless. And add two tablespoons of rice with it. Keep the flame on low and very carefully dry roast these ingredients. Make sure these ingredients don't get burnt but they're just brown. Do not let the laddus be raw in taste. So if you see the urud dal and the rice have turned to a nice brown color. Turn off the stove at this point and keep them aside. You have to completely cool them. Once these ingredients have cooled down completely and they've come to room temperature, transfer them to a mixer jar. Just grind it all once to get a slightly coarse mixture. And now I'm adding 3 tablespoons of jaggery and 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder. Cover the mixer jar once again and blitz it all into a fine powder. So you can see this is the powder consistency that you're looking for. So this is the key for making the laddus. Now the remaining process is a cakewalk. First, you need to transfer it to a nice wide bowl. Then add in the roasted cashew nuts. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of thick ghee here. So you can also melt the ghee and add it hot to the mixture. Now clean your hands and start mixing it all up. At this point, you can easily make out whether extra ghee is needed to this mixture or not. So if you look at the mixture at this point, you can see it's binding nicely. So we have the required consistency here. So I'm applying some ghee to my palms to make sure the urud dal mixture doesn't stick to them while making the laddus. Take this mixture in small and equal amounts to make the same size laddus. Prepare all the urud dal laddus in the same manner and gently keep them aside. So there you go, the urud dal laddus are ready to be served or stored. You can actually store these laddus in an airtight container for 4 to 5 days. If you want to make this one more healthier, you can replace half of the quantity of skinless urud dal with whole black urud dal. Just one laddu a day can make you strong. And it is also great for kids' overall growth. I'll give you a couple of links to the other laddu varieties I've made earlier. You can check them out as well. This is an ancient traditional South Indian recipe which everyone must try and it's very delicious and healthy beyond my words. So give it a try sometime and let me know how it turned out for you guys. Wish you a healthy snacking. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description, you can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now, so you can place your orders on 21frames.in.